You know, sometimes you just got to change your look to convince the world that you're somewhat sane. Because if you wear anything funny, if you wear anything different, if you wear anything outside the norm, you get typified as being a, a crazy person, right? But then if I'm wearing a suit and a tie and I'm feeling ridiculous, and I'm wearing it just to fit in with everybody else, isn't that ridiculous? Something feels good on the head and you like the look and you want to look different. So I'm in a bit of a strange mood. I've changed my dress to convey it. I'm not feeling the same type of person. I was wearing a clothing that made me fit in and I liked it. I liked it. Because when you don't fit in, there's this cultural malaise that's <clears throat> I think at the heart of every human and that we want to belong we want to be part of something we want to connect with humans who love us and who we love and yet it may not be happening it may not be occurring at all or maybe with just one person the rest of the world seems like it's always over there and they're always over there. You don't really talk to people in any deep and meaningful ways. You're not connecting at the heart. You're not seeing them smile and joy because you share something that means something to them. We don't know how bad <clears throat> our culture has gotten we witness in YouTube and Facebook things that would make us all cringe if we saw the true reality of it. And yet we see dozens in a day as we pass by these pictures and videos and headlines of things gone wrong, animals being hurt, children being raped. countries being ruined. And this is this background, this background context that we're getting all this information that we don't know what to make of and the normal news and corporate world is portraying this world in a certain way and giving you evidence to take away your liberties, giving you safety, precautions, to take away your normal way of living life. And when the data comes in and you realize the lies, you realize the tests don't really work, you realize what they say is not true. And yet they go forward with lockdowns that ruin an economy, that are taking away our basic freedoms of transportation, basic freedoms that we've all had and now they're using this utter bullshit in their position of authority in their position with the media in their position to get all these polite nice canadians to not want to say boo hoo because they just want to make sure they're fitting in because we've been trained to be that way all our lives Will I say to you, don't conform to what is occurring. Don't allow yourself to be led into slavery with a chip, with a vaccine, with a cashless society where they turn off the knob if you're not being a good little slave. Is that what you want? Well, that's where we're headed if we don't do anything.